Shell, the proposal to retire the A-10s comes in President Obama's budget proposal. As you said, if approved, upwards of 1,000 jobs would be lost at Gowan. City officials are working overtime to keep them right here. One of the military's oldest aircraft is under attack. The Air Force is being forced to retire the A-10 Thunderbolt under President Obama's 2016 budget proposal. 21 A-10s are currently stationed at Gowan Airfield. As long as we have the A-10, we're going to continue to fly it and maintain it to the best of our ability so that it's ready to go on any deployments that the Pentagon may send our way. Nearly 1,000 jobs are tied to the mission. All could potentially be lost if the A-10s are grounded. If we get another mission after the A-10 goes, which it eventually will, uh, we're not sure how many of those jobs will stay, how many jobs will go. The loss of jobs is a major concern for the city of Boise. Mayor Dave Beter and members of council are currently working to keep the A-10s at Gowan. We're working really closely with our congressional delegation to find out a, uh, find a path forward in order to keep those A-10s here um, as long as possible. City leaders hope pressure from the community could change course and keep the A-10s flying. They've launched the website GowanStrong.com, showcasing the benefits of the A-10 and why Gowan Field is the best place for the mission. This is a great place for those, uh, those planes to fly and, to, and for those jobs to stay. This isn't a done deal. The president's proposal still must pass Congress. A similar request to retire the A-10s last year failed. Idaho Senator Mike Crapo calls the retirement of the A-10s unacceptable and says it could put troops at an increased risk. Live in studio, Chris Oswalt, 6 on your side.